Hello Stanford, welcome to Frenchie's video. Well today I'm going to show you how to do the inlaid uh, technique but this time it's going to be spotlight inlaid. What was the inlaid? It's when you take um, shapes or uh, you can use tone on tone uh, and you glue it and then you emboss. You see here I added those fees. This one when I did that, that was my Christmas in pink. I added the snowflake. So this time we're going to stamp an image and go from there. So I started, my battery went out. I didn't want to start over just because I don't really have time. So I'm going to explain what I did so far. I took my swallowtail. I stamped that on white and this is four by five and a quarter and I stamp that with stays on. So the best thing when it's a big stamp set, you take your ink pad, ink it good, leave your stamp down. Because many ask me how I get my image so clear. I leave my stamp down, then I bring my cardstock to the top and rub it good. You can take your brayer too and brayer it. So then you're going to have a good pressure. Okay, so I did that on the white and I did that on Regal Rose. Then we're going to do what I call the spotlight now. We're going to take the one inch, the three quarter inch, and the half inch, all the circle punch. We're going to uh, punch out here and there. And like you can say, see, I, oops, I started and then my battery went down. And then you're going to take your, from the Regal Rose, your, um, circle that you punch and you're going to match it. So you want to remember about where you went so then you can match it quite, you know, almost perfectly. Even if it's not just right, it's okay. This one was right around here. I'm going to say that's good enough. Then I'm going to take my little one. If you cannot go deep enough, Take your scissors and just cut out out of this. So then you can go deeper or in the center because you know your punch don't go too deep. So you just cut out. So I'm going to come right here. So then I'm going to try to see where it went. I'm going to take my snail. I'm going to take this. That went right by the tail here. Should be right about here. Oops, go more this way. I think that looked pretty good to me. Should be turned a little bit more. Et voila. So now, after you get this done, you can put as many as you want, as little as you want. For some reason, six don't look good to me, so I'm going to punch another one right here. Gonna come and whoops, punch another one right here. And this, whoops, this one should be right here. Wait a minute, the tail. Okay, that's the tail. There's my snail some reason you always want an odd number I think. Just the peak of the tail here. I think that, oops. That should be about right. Okay, I'm going to leave it this way. I'm going to take my square lattice and we're going to emboss that. For some reason I like this one better when it's face down because this is more raised. So I'm going to take this, because usually I always put my image face up, you know, where you see the Sizzik and stamping up. This one I want my image in the back of it. So let's line this up, make sure I cover it all good. Now I'm going to pass this in the big shot. That's when it's going to do my inlay. Let me run this quick in the big shot. And now... Voila! So now it's all perfectly embossed and I get all my spotlight in it. Now what I'm going to do is mount it on black cardstock. 
I'm going to mount this on the black, just a tiny border that I get. So my main, the white was five and a quarter by four, and then my next step, I just went one eight of an inch bigger. So it's four and one eight by five and uh, three eight, it would be. Here we go. And then regal roasts go with my spotlight. And I could add ribbon or greeting, whatever, but voila. This is how I do the spotlight uh, in light. Hope you learned something new. Till next time, happy stamping.